Okay, so this is how I um, but this is how I make my money as a, as a starting new uh, player. Uh, the first the first thing you want to do if you can, uh, I went to Squin uh, because there you have like places where you can uh, mine. I'll show you right now. So you have this, these two over here, the iron iron ore, and you got the copper resources over here. So they're like just together, super good. The other one is over here. You got two resources here. You got iron resource and iron resources. That is very good when you start because you want to make some money, right? So if we go back to the base, so once you have make enough money, because when you start, you're not going to have all these people. These people have been hired uh, mostly at the bar over here. If you go at the bar or any kind of bar from any hub, I mean, any town, you will find people you can hire. But to hire them, you need the money, right? So anyway, so let's say you had, let's say you hired some people and let's say you have some money, right? So the next thing you want to do is buy a house over here. How about a house over here? Uh, the reason I bought a house here is because if you build your house outside, uh, outside the, the the town or the the city, uh, you will get raided by a bandits or any kind of like uh, animals that will kill you and you will die. So if you want the extra protection, then you want to come in this village because you have guards who are super mega OP. And these guys are like super geared and super powerful, meaning that nobody can raid you in your house, right? So when you start, so basically you want to uh, you want to get the money in order to buy the house. Once you buy the house, you want to have these two. You, you want to buy storage. Well, just before you buy storage, sorry about that. You need to get the research uh, research bench where you go over here, and you go to building, and I would be tech, and you you would see research bench one. Uh, no, sorry, a small resource bench, that one over here. So you want it, that's number one, because once you get small resource bench, you can then start researching uh, what you call it storage, okay? And the most important storage is the, the raw iron storage, and this guy over here, uh, copper storage. All you need is those two over here, you don't need anything else. So you need this guy, the storage over here, and the storage over here, all right? Everything else is optional. Oh yeah, this, well, I would recommend the, the food storage, because... I'll tell you later what you I would recommend this one as well all right uh, so let's say you have those four elements one two three and four what you need to do is that every time uh, you need to take every uh, NPC all right and you need to automate them by um, shift you have you have to hold your left shift and right click uh, something like this guy over here uh, so let's say I remove this boom so you, all you do is left shift and let, right click, boom, and it's going to show up over here. It means that by priority, first you need, I put medic, find a rescue, and find and put in bed. You can remove that. You don't need that. It's going to jump to the fourth one, which is go to the copper resources. So what DJ Dragon Pie is going to do, he's going to come over here. He's going to start mining uh, until there is five copper, right? When there's five copper, he's going to put it in his bag over here. Uh, you could ha you can buy a thieves bag or you can also buy the other bag uh, this guy over here wooden backpack which is better for uh, well it's better in the sense that you can put more uh, elements in it you can put put more irons more copper in it so this is better but I got the thieves bag because I had the money and I wanted to buy a thief bag the only difference is that you cannot stack see these guys doesn't stack over each other it's like you know it's it's more for like uh stealing technically but i bought this guy so it doesn't matter as long as you can put five iron ore or five copper ore that's all it that matters because once you get five copper ore over here uh he's gonna automatically put it in his bag and once he put it in his bag he's gonna go all the way back to my house and he's gonna put it over here so see right now I got 10 so it's gonna be 15 and then 20 and then 30 35 etc same thing with uh, the raw iron over here stones right so you can go up to 100 by the way so you want to be careful now you're gonna say okay so if he leaves who's gonna who's gonna mind this well see I have this guy over here Ruka so Ruka over here I did the same thing so she's taking care of this of uh, I Sorry, of uh, mining this guy over here and mining this guy over here. I did this with pretty much everyone. Uh, but you got to be careful because this guy over here, the uh, raw iron resources, this guy, 
you can have up to three miners as you can see three out of three uh, workers so you can have three workers maximum over here this guy can have two workers right so right now I have one worker out of two working one second I think okay so there's one person missing you see so because there's one person missing this is slower okay but this one is faster because I have three people working now you're gonna say where's the other guy uh, somewhere <laughs> let me see oh th there he is so this guy he's one of the worker but he's actually loading uh, he already took five copper ore he's gonna put it in my house gonna show you where is he there he is Ato Ato <laughs> there we go and he's gonna load it over here there you go see I have 15 now now he's going to, he's gonna go back to uh, over here all right, so he's going to start mining over here, and then he's going to be the one, uh, DJ Dragon Pie is going to be, when there's going to be five copper, he's going to take, you know, the five copper, put it in his bag, and do the same thing as the other. Now you have noticed I have food over here. You can say, why do I have so much food? Um, it's more of a personal, optional decision, because when I work over here, let's say somebody's starving, uh, because I'm just nearby, and also because I have this thing over here, one second... AI, you gotta make sure you have share foods check mark. All right. So what happened is that when DJ Dragon Pie has food on him, everybody's nearby will uh, you know eat something you know over here instead of starving. Because if you don't have any food in one of your uh, you know characters, uh, I mean they, there's a risk that they're gonna die. But you know there's another thing you can do, and I this is the part where I told you to do this guy over here storage food item. That is if you researched it. So you gotta make sure that you researched it. You research it over here, which I believe is, I forgot, farming, is it farming? I think it was farming or industry, I forgot. But you're going to find it, and once you do the, re, uh, when you research the uh, appropriate storage for the food, then you can also go to the, the bars over here, the bar, and buy a lot of food. Once you buy a lot of food, you just put it in, the, in here over here. So what's going to happen is that everybody who comes over here to load copper ore or you know or the other ore they're going to they're going to stop over here and they're going to eat whatever there is in the barrel and yeah so that's pretty you know because they need to pass by here so by the time they pass by here to either go right or left they need to pass you know they're going to be nearby the thing the the uh, the food storage right but you got to make sure you got food in there uh amelia like she's okay she's she's not gonna eat anything it's only when they're like super low they're gonna start eating over here you know what i'm saying so you can have few of your npc <clears throat> few of your uh characters to have food on them like i think i only have dj dragon let me see nope yeah yeah well him too kang kang and dj dragon so you yeah so it's up to you you don't have to but you know it's up to you because i know this guy eats a lot <laughs> All right, so now there's another thing you need to see. Over here, like right now, I was um, over here. You see, I was over here. I'm gonna show you the map. I'm over here, but over here, I also have five people. So I have ten people total. So I put five people over here and five people over here. All right. The reason is, if you put everybody in the same on the same spot, uh, they're just gonna AFK until one of them just leave. Right. So it's kind of it's not very beneficial. You want to be more beneficial, so you got this guy over here, you can put three people. You got this guy over here, you can put three people. Now you're going to say, yeah, but they're raw iron. I want copper iron. Well, you know, when you're, starter, when you're starting, you don't have a lot of choices. You can. I think there is a copper copper somewhere else. I forgot. I think it's on the other side, but it's it's kind of, it's, it's way too far. So here, the reason I, t I choose those two is because if they get attacked, I get my other people over here, my other crew, who can, you know, who can come and help my other people over here if they get attacked and vice versa vis vice versa you, you know what i'm saying so you got to be careful you got to bear that in mind that you may get attacked uh but that's pretty much how it is you know if you want to um you know make some money at start that's the way it is so but it, it doesn't really happen all the time when it happens you just run away if you want you can run away or you can ask your other buddies to uh, come as assist you which is good because when you attack or even if you get attacked you kind of uh, you you kind of like um, level up your toughness, your strength, your whatever dexterity, melee attack, whatever. So you kind of level up all other other um, traits. So it's a good thing to get attack, but be careful you can also die. So you got to make sure that you know you get some of your people who have uh, in uh, med medicine like 
see she has medicine i'm gonna put her i'm gonna shift uh left shift and hold and then right uh, left click uh, left click yeah i'm gonna put medic over here see so like i said you you left shift hold your keyboard and then you left click medic and it's gonna come over here i'll do it again left shift hold left click there you go and then you want to put it like this so what happened is that her priority will be to heal people and also this guy over here rescue boom there you go boom so medic find a rescue put in bed and then the rest are you guys feeling my drift those are the priority you can change if you want uh so that's that what else do i want Oh yeah, so that's it guys. So that's how I make my money at the start. That's the, the way that I really start making. You see I have uh, only a thousand, but I think I made around a hundred thousand, uh, maybe more or less a hundred thousand, you know, cats. But the thing is that I spent everything into hiring those people, buying gear, uh, building my house, research, you know, a lot of, I, I spent a lot of money, but I made a lot of money. But yeah, so that's how I do it. Once you're done over here, once you make a lot of money, like more than three hundred thousand, five hundred thousand, then you may want to uh, you may want to consider to, you know, try somewhere else. But bear in mind that when you go somewhere else, like I used to go here over here, as you can see, I would do an outpost over here. That's my decision because uh, there's a reason why. But anyway, wherever you go it may be difficult. Here, as you can see, it doesn't whoop, but like it doesn't whoa, it doesn't it doesn't tell you. It doesn't tell you how difficult are the uh, the mobs or the map, so you got to be careful where you go because um, you may get one shot killed by bandits or whatever animals. You know what I'm saying? So there's a lot of things that can kill you, and before you even go outside, uh, you know the where you are right now, which is a pretty good spot, you know, for training and leveling up. I anyway, guys, so that's how I have I uh, that's how I make my my money when I start. And see, I have beds as well. <clears throat> Can put beds. I have a sh shop counter where nobody comes in. I have nothing to sell. Uh, I also have other stuff like weapon cabinet, weapon stand, crossbow locker. You know, you can put uh, other stuff. Oh, I got this guy. Oh, I did not even store. Yep. Yeah, so I got this guy over here. Building material. Uh, general storage box. Uh, what is this? Storage for bolts. You know, you can put whatever you want, but the most important is this guy. The the uh, the ore. The uh, storage for raw iron. And storage for copper uh, you need the research bench and also this guy over here storage for food I highly recommend it also have a little fire camp in there if you want to cook oh there you go there's a, oh there, yeah there you go see there's <laughs> I did not but yeah guys if you have any question let me know in the comments if you like uh... oh by the way um I didn't I'm not sorry I'm not finished so you're gonna say so what do we do when how do you make the money well first of all I'm gonna take Amelia here we go what you want to do is very uh... It's a little bit tricky, okay? So you got to be careful. See, now I'm going to, uh, you're going to pause this once you get here. You're going to left click, you're going to open your inventory, and you're going to uh, hold shift the uh, uh, hold shift button and right click this guy. Boom. So everything's going to be in the bag. Now you're going to uh, left click this guy over here. You're going to hold, hold the left shift again and right click. Boom. So I get, oh, sh okay. So you got all the, 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 the ore in her bags. Now everything is in her bag. See the this guy over here, the wooden backpack. It stacks everything, so you have more space on this guy. Uh, now the the reason why I said to pause, because if you don't pause, look what she's gonna do. She's gonna go back over here and deposit everything. Boom. See, you don't want that to happen, right? Okay, you're gonna bring her back to the middle over here. Pause it. Uh, left okay it's already so you're gonna left uh, hold the left shift and right click this boom so everything is there once you're there you unpause but you come over here fast ASAP you, you gotta make sure you click over here they if they go any closer to the the storage they're gonna deposit the things and I don't want that to happen I'm gonna go in this guy over here you can fast forward this you can go to any shop that has money I'm gonna go to this guy boom Let's trade. Then you want to pause here. If you don't pause, she's going to run away to deposit the, the ore in my house. So you don't want that. So you need to pause. Then then you can start selling. She has 25,000 cats. So right. So you hold. Okay. Hold the left shift and right click. Boom. It sells everything like this. So now I made 7,000. And you keep doing that over and over again. And that's it, guys. So now I made 8,000. 
but in no time i'll be i, I can make up to like i said three hundred thousand. You, you gotta be patient though you gotta be patient so then you just unpause and she's gonna keep doing what she's doing which is i don't know what she went there for but whatever okay so that's it and you can fast forward so let me know what you guys think and um please like and sub and i hope this helped you to start your first base uh and uh hope it's gonna make you rich <laughs> all right guys thanks for watching cheers oh there you go they're training these guys are training <laughs> that was funny to see wait uh, what level are they for okay who's that meow she's level three yeah, look at that that's funny as shit oh wait she oh wait she oh my god are you serious I, I... why is she using oh my god are you I, I got a secondary weapon and she's instead oh my god that's so fail. Wait. What? Really? What is going on with her? Okay, something is. Uh, you know what? It doesn't matter. I, I don't know. She's supposed to use the the, the sword, but who cares? All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Cheers. <laughs>